All right, so let's switch over to your call this week for Governor Evers to use $500 million in federal COVID relief to the state. That's about a quarter of what Wisconsin's getting in uh, that relief total to hire police. Well, I think the responsibility lies primarily with the local elected officials who have all been on this defund the police movement. They're not putting in and dedicating the proper resources that are required in order to keep the public safe. And this is what one of government's primary functions is to keep law and order and protect citizens. And when you get on these moves where, you know, you, you don't have enough money, you're not funding the police departments properly. But representative, if these cities largest expenditures, I know it is in, in Milwaukee, their largest municipal expenditure is the police department. How can you say they're not spending enough on police? Well, just look at the crime rate and look at the personnel, look at the number of officers in the city of Milwaukee today versus what we had 10 or 15 years ago. And when you look at the crime in a proportional value or proportional way, you're gonna see that we're not dedicating enough resources. You know, you, you have to put water where the fire is, right? And so the city wants to, you know, fund the, 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 the trolley and some of the other things that they wanna do, which are the nice things, but you have to take care of your priorities first. And so to be able to, you know, to come back and say, we, we just don't have the money uh, to do it, uh, to me, it's, it really is not an option. So that's why I'm calling on the governor to, to help these cities out with some extra funding. You know, he got over $2 billion from the federal government uh, on COVID relief funds. All right, so let's wrap it up by going back to the budget then, because the legislature could have had a say in this, sitting on an unprecedented surplus of the state, or at least the legislature chose not to increase shared revenue to the cities. Why not? Well, you'd have to ask joint finance. I'm not on the I'm not on the joint finance committee, so I don't know all the decisions that were made. Uh, that but but went into you, you did say they sources. did a very good job, though. You, you said earlier that they did yeah. a very good job. They did a very good job. I think when you take a look at the revenue that's going in between the state aid uh, to all the states and all of the COVID funds that these uh, municipalities and school districts and that everybody have got. I mean, they are sitting on more cash right now than they have in the last several budgets uh, after this budget. So there really is no cause for concern. But, you know, with some people, rather than making the hard decisions and doing the tough work of solving problems, they want to just have right away their knee jerk uh, reaction is to say, well, we just don't have enough money. Well, that's not just true. You have to allocate your money where it's needed and use it wisely. All right. Representative Joe Sanfilippo, we appreciate your time. Thank you for coming on the show. You're welcome. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.